target five. We just had about a, I don't know, quarter, quarter mile walk down this cool lake, bass and bluegills all through here. If you've never been to Seven Springs, I'd highly recommend it. Honestly, the only reason I just saw this target is because of all the broken arrows laying behind that freaking thing. So this is a classic Pat armadillo shot. He loves the armadillo or he loves the white rabbit. There's clearly a big rock. Yep, a massive rock behind the armadillo. You can see right now it's actually kind of nice. We're in a little pocket. We've dropped down. So there is some wind, but not a lot, which is nice because a target this small dealing with up on the top that was about a 22 to 25 mile an hour wind on the ram shot but right here we've kind of just got a nice clean shot the only thing that's going to really make this tough on the first assessment is the fact that one it's small if you're off a yard you're going to miss it probably at this distance two he's been had mud splashed on him and he blends right into the mud so let's get a quick range on this guy Sixty and a half yards. So that's uh, forty yards less than the last shot we had to make. But boom, still going to be a fun one. So taking a look, the only thing I can really make out is the core. I'm probably going to have it sixty yards on an armadillo. I mean, you're talking. There's your ten ring. There's your eight. I'm probably going to drift at least an eight ring just from this right to left wind coming across. But other than that, you have to just be willing to laugh about it if you make a donation to the rock gods back there. Oh, I'm <laughs> just on the left side of the core. I hung an eight, barely, but that was a cool shot. I actually got a little puff of wind on me right when my shot broke. And uh, I don't know, that's a perfect height, fun shot. Awesome here at the tack. And yeah, if you do it that way, you're gonna come away with your arrow. So that's positive. Pretty cool walking around the edge to the armadillo. We just saw a freaking lunker too, just a big old 20 inch bass. Look at these suckers. I heard a bullfrog right when I was at full draw and I was like aiming at this thing right before my shot broke. I heard a bullfrog in my mind being ADD like it is thought about the bullfrog, then came back, thought about the wind, and right when I thought about it, my shot broke. So I'm left four inches, actually from the 10, that's two inches, the back of the 10 ring, two inches, three inches right there to the 12, but you can tell from this right here, I'm actually a lucky guy right now. I'm pretty pumped with that, that is, some serious shrapnel and a really fun armadillo across the pawn shot. <laughs>